Daily me. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my nanny and we have made these like vegan chickpea vegetable pancakes, otherwise known as buddha. Rice flour. Yeah, so they, well they have rice flour and ground Mardigre. flour. Mardigre. Yeah, so there's a variety of flowers in here, but you can make them with like loads of different types of flour, which we'll, we will explain later. We've just made a few, there's just two here. The first few always go horribly wrong because they are quite thick. Do you want to show them on camera? The horrible ones. Because it depends on how much water you put in to make the batter like thicker or thinner. So mm. they still taste as good, they're just a bit thicker and not as crispy. So I thought I'd show you the two best ones. These are like perfect. A perfect channel. Hmm. Really nice food. Yeah, and I love eating. Yeah, they taste really good. They take quite a while to make, but they do taste really good. And we've made them vegan with vegan yogurt, but you could obviously do them just vegetarian without the vegan yogurt. And there's a whole variety of things that you could eat them with: yogurt, pickles, ketchup, anything, chili sauce, chutney. Yeah, and chutney. Hmm. Yeah. So if you want to see how we made these, then carrots, tomatoes, chutney, anything. Oh yeah, we filmed a video for the carrot and tomato chutney, which was so good. I can go, can I bring it Carrots, tomato, chili, coriander, um, onion, yeah. We, made, we actually filmed a video on this chutney. It's like the best chutney ever. This one is um, not as runny, but obviously you can do it however you want. You add more tomatoes to make it runnier. This doesn't have as many, but this is just so good. Um, so yeah, we have a little bit left, which we're going to have for the bridlers. That's it, nothing else. Now we're going to go eat. We are all hungry. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, these are really good. Thank you, Nisi and Das. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> This is for left-handed people. <laughs> Most people in the family are left-handed and I am not. So we struggle with like using tools, which is why I'm peeling this backwards. You're left, didn't you? Yeah, my grand's left-handed. Ah! Oops. Let me, I can do for you. <laughs> right, we have yeah. one very painfully peeled <laughs> So this is basically a free oh, So you can either grate it, but it, it's better to just Blitz it all in the food processor. That's the courgette. You don't have to peel it, it's just personal preference. Slowly. What side are you cutting? So this is just the courgette. Um, you probably wouldn't need to chop it this fine if you've got like a more modern food processor. Like in my one at home, I wouldn't. I'd just chuck it all in, but this is quite an old one. So we've just chopped it up all fine. We're just blitzing it. This took me far too long. Oh, there we go, I figured it out. So we've got one onion, we've got like a thumb sized piece of ginger and three chilies. These are not that spicy, they're like quite like medium to hot I guess. <laughs> So my gran has just left me to my own devices, which I'm taking as a huge compliment because if she leaves you in her kitchen unsupervised, it just means that she trusts you. Um, it doesn't happen very often. I feel like this is the first time ever. Like if I'm making something that she doesn't, like if, she, if I'm making something that isn't Indian food and she doesn't know what I'm making, then it's fine. You can do whatever you want. But 
seeing as she's showing me how to make this and left me unsupervised, I'm very happy. It means I've like earned my, um, this is better than like a Michelin star, isn't it, Jess? Mm. <laughs> very happy. Anyway, so in here I've got one large, well, medium to large, whatever, white onion. I've got about four or five cloves of garlic, three chilies, and a thumb-sized piece of ginger. You literally just put in whatever veg you want. You can even put cucumber in this apparently, which I think personally is a bit weird. But I've got cabbage, one and a half courgettes, two carrots, we've got a handful of spinach, we're gonna put a handful of cabbage in, and this. And again, you can put more ginger and garlic in. I've put a bit more than my grand told me to put in. So what's this, coriander? Yep. Throw that in there as well? Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone yeah. do it this way before. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. She's coriander. impressed as well. <laughs> easier. I can smell the coriander from here now. Mm. Freshly done. Straight for the plant. Do you like a bit of coriander? And she's throwing something else in. A bit of water. Just to clean out the food processor. Any <laughs> leftover veg as you do. Alright, yeah. Yeah. This the flour, yes? This flour is multi. Multigrain. Multigrain. Okay. And you've got a big couple of or three spoons, I think. I don't know how much. Just do it. Here we are. Yeah, this is rice flour. And rice flour. Okay. Is that four spoons of rice flour, is it? One, two, three, four. and then four. Four? <laughs> four and a bit. Because that equal part oh. Yeah, equal parts, I think. So mm. you got the. Uh, then you got this some is yogurt. yogurt. And this one's plain yogurt, plain vegan, vegan yogurt. So vegan, Soy. otherwise you can put normal yogurt. And how much do we put in? Was this a whole pot? That's half. Half of pot of one of this one. You can put normal yogurt. You can put normal as well. Somebody's vegan, that way we put in <laughs> vegan. Otherwise we put in normal. And we're mixing the whole lot together, all the stuff that you blitzed earlier. Mixer? Good luck. Mix she's going to do the mixing now. Oh. I think she's going to put a little bit of salt on. Salt is taste. To taste. I don't know. Somebody's like more. This is two and a half, I think. Yeah. So if you prefer more, you can put more in. Oh. And now something else coming out. This is turmeric. Turmeric. Half. Cheese. Mm. One teaspoon turmeric. This is a chili powder. Chili powder. Put water mm. or something. And a bit of water. Yeah. I'm not Just to give it a bit oh, of a. Uh, because it's gone a bit dry now, I think, isn't it? This. Bus. So, what Nishi's done is she's. Like a quarter of the pot of yogurt no, in? Yes, I think more. Water. Put it, well, I'll put it. Measure? Maybe. You yeah. might need more, she says. It's gone a bit like really dry. Mm. Yeah. So, a bit more put water. It more. Is that another half of water? Put it all off. Put it, put it, put it, put it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, here we are. You need to make it into quite a runny consistency. Yeah. Like pancake well, it is pancakes, isn't it? So it has to be able to like fall off the spoon. It smells nice for me. And you don't have to set my throat. There we are, looks a bit. I think you down a bit Chappy more. Jack Huh? If you don't mind. Some mm -hmm. Some chap man. I'm going to try the oh, yeah. batter. Good? Mm, good, but less salt. Less salt, obviously, you need more salt. Mm. More salt? And <laughs> yeah, you put a little bit of lemon, is it? A bit of lemon as well? Oh, yeah, i got to put a lemon in there. Lemon. And some I put in flour more. More flour? There's a bit more of the multigrain flour she put in. Mm. I think Multigrain, rice flour. Otherwise, you can put this gram flour is okay. We put in few gram flour. Yeah. There's a chopped lemon, half chopped lemon. And you're squeezing that. Oh God, this oh, I think it's better if you do it from. This you're going to do it. Yeah. You got the lemon. <laughs> I think you have got that device, haven't you? Yeah, it's quite a bit coming out. Half a lemon. No seeds in this. No, yeah. And then you've got something else coming up here. 
that's a lemon juice, half a lemon. And now you got a big spoon gram flour. of gram flour. Oh, was that the gram flour? The same as this? No, oh. that's rice flour. Rice flour. So you have rice flour. You can literally put any flour that you want, but um, yeah. if you put it, if you make. Use all ground flour if it's too heavy. Okay, so at the moment you've got a bit of rice flour, three spoons of no, four spoons of ground flour. No, it's not two. I put two. Sorry, two. It's like four cups of melting grain flour, four cups rice flour. Yeah, so what you you just have to eyeball it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what someone did. Equal parts multi grain and rice flour, roughly, and half the amount of. She's tasting it again to see if it's right or not. This is the lemon again. She wants more lemon, I think. Mm. No, lemon's finished, or do you want some more lemon? Looks like more lemon, huh? Chili. More chili powder. That's obviously. Sort of. It's, it's kind of all to taste, isn't it? Really, as in. Anybody? Huh? Yes, it's all to taste, basically. All the dish. Yeah. So everyone can actually put less or more in. I put this in the microwave. Little bit sugar. A little bit of sugar, a little spoon of sugar that went in there. Seed, sugar, salt, chili powder, salt, pepper, salt. Yep. Mm. Better? Or a bit you, more lemon? You can try this. You nah. try it. Go on, try no, it. No, no. I don't like trying You could try it. It's a bit gross. You have tried that. Go on. Me? It's yeah. just not going to taste. I don't know. I won't know if it's done. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oops. Yeah. Ready? I oh, know it's better. Is it crying yet? Come. I'll taste. It's nice or something less. I can't like eat that. I think, <laughs> I think I'm missing something. <laughs> you have no idea, do you? <laughs> Stress wasn't very helpful, but we needed more salt. These lemons have been in the microwave for like. Five seconds and they have so much more juice that comes out of them. Right, so this is what it looks like, all mixed together. I'm not sure what happens next, but she'll tell you. More, you okay, do. she's putting more Lim lemon juice. Yeah. So you mean the juice of like what, three lemons? I think we used about three these lemons. Very large. Mm. Yeah, these are large lemons. So the batter is done, let me show you. Here we go. I'm sure it's just gave you a close up. You kind of have to make it to this consistency. So you add as much flour or water. You just have to eyeball it. That's any literally. flour you go for. Yeah, you can use any flour. In the past, I've just used gram flour and yeah. rice flour. My sister just uses gram flour on its own. Um, and this is a mix of all three. And we have the perfect budla or pancake, whatever you want to call it. This one's really thin. We thinned out the batter. I've actually taken it out by the back door to show you. Look at the colour on this budla. It's perfect. It's really nice and thin. It's quite crispy. So we added a lot more water to the batter. And yeah, this is like the perfect one. It takes 
always takes a few goes and then it's like perfect so yeah very happy with this one so if you enjoyed watching this video then please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon bye bye bye, -bye.